Hello? Gamer Nom is back. So, f wait guys. What? No screen time for you today, CB. So for today's video, we're going to have this noob unlock the death step and reach third C. So guys, for the requirements, you need to unlock the hidden key so you can get this key from the Awakened Ice Admiral. Then you're going to use this key to open this door. Next up, you need to gain shards. So it depends on you if you want to get it from defeating sea beasts or doing raids. Last two things, you need 400 mastery in dark step and you need 2.5 million bellies to purchase the death step, okay? So salamat shopee. So before we start grinding this account, you can show your support by using star code gamer gnome when purchasing your robux. Where the actor slam on the dancing forward, there's your slam, there's the dump. Okay, so after unlocking the death step, we are going back to the first sea. We're going to talk to the sea captain, and after that, we are heading towards the fountain city and start defeating the galley pirates. But give me why galley pirates and not cyborg? Guys, because what we want aside from experience is mastery, right? So if you choose to defeat the galley pirates, you will gain more mastery, okay? And guys, I hope that you notice that you need 400 mastery to unlock all the skills of the death step. At 100 mastery, we will unlock the rocket kick. Straight to the point, this skill is not good for grinding because it can only hit a maximum of 2 mobs per skill. So gamer gnome, you're not gonna use this skill to grind. No guys, we're still gonna use it, okay? Let me show it to you. 4 galley pirates and only 2 worry damage. Okay, so again, if you want, you can lure two enemies at a time, defeat them. So we're gonna leave this area when you reach level 725. Stat check, melee 1458, defense 760. Okay, so back to the second C, and our first target here, the mercenaries. Okay, so first you need to lure them. Again, two at a time. Guys, we've skipped the raiders, okay? Because they're so far apart, so we just focus on the galley pirates and the next is the mercenaries okay guys listen we're gonna grind here until we reach level 775 we skip the diamond quest because again the quest is so far stat check melee 1574 defense 750 next up the swan pirates again guys same you need to defeat two swan pirates at a time again it's kind of slow but don't worry we are about to reach 200 mastery and we will unlock our second skill the wind bullet Guys, this skill is good because it can damage multiple enemies, which will make our grinding really fast. Guys, we will unlock quests when we reach level 850. Now, I'm gonna give you a choice. So again, at 850, you can start defeating Jeremy or Bellamy, one of the bosses in this island. So here it is. I'm gonna show you how to defeat him. Use your Z and X skill, right? After that, wait for him to use his own attack. Wait for your cooldown and use your skill, okay? So you're just going to repeat that until you defeat Jeremy. But guys, if you think it's hard or it's kinda slow, you can go back to the Swan Pirates as long as you reach level 900. When you reach that level, let's do some stat check. Billy 1879, defense 820. Next up is the green zone. So here we're gonna start defeating the marine captains. My technique here is lure them without hitting them and you need at least 3 wind bullets to defeat them. So guys, it's kinda hard to be honest with these mobs but don't worry, you only need to defeat them until you reach 925. And after that, new quest, Fajita or Fujitora. So guys, I'm gonna show you how to defeat him. First again, use your Z and X skills and create distance. It's very hard to dodge his skills so make sure to dash outside his range every time you use your skills. You will also unlock your third skill, the Vermilion Drill at Mastery 300. So again, defeating mobs will be a lot faster. Check this out. This is the Vermilion Drill. So guys, you're gonna grind here until you reach level 1000. After that, you can now go to the next island, the Snow Mountain. So here, we're just gonna defeat the Snow Troopers. Yes, I'm gonna show you. You're gonna lure four, right? Now you can use your Vermilion Drill. And after that, your Wind Bullet. And that is enough to defeat one set of mobs. You need to defeat 8, so 2 sets to finish a quest. Your goal here is to reach level 1100. And after that, stat check, max melee defense 999. Next island is the hot and cold. 
we're gonna skip lots of mobs here but don't worry guys i assure you this is the fastest so first lab subordinates same strategy with the snow troopers one vermilion drill and the wind bullet should be enough but if in case they're not yet dead just use your left clicks okay the goal here is 1150 and after that guys again my favorite the smoke admiral so he's located here there you go and use your skills c x and z then wait for the cooldown repeat wait for the cooldown and that's it okay guys we're gonna server hop here until you reach level 1250 and check this out we've unlocked our final skill the devil flames this still increases the damage of the z x and c skill and also it will add some burn damage so stat check max melee defense 1449 next up the cursed ship same with the hot and cold we're only going to defeat two mobs here first is the ship that can't so you only need to use your devil flames vermilion drill wind bullet and after that let's check the damage check that out guys so you only need some left clicks to defeat this set you're gonna do this until you reach level 1300 and after this next up the ship stewards guys now i hope that you know the drill yes we're gonna use the vermilion drill the wind bullet and some left clicks to defeat these mobs another 50 level ups here and after that we are going back to where we started the ice castle so here we're gonna start defeating the arctic warriors so guys again remember same strategy devil flames vermilion drill wind bullet and you're gonna end it with some left clicks our target level here is 1400 and after that we are going to defeat the awakened ice admiral again remember guys we were able to defeat this at level 701 yes guys 701 that is the time that we unlock the hidden key and now that we've unlocked the death step and our level is 1400 i'm sure that this boss is a lot easier so the goal here is 1475 next up the final island before reaching the third sea the forgotten island so here we're gonna go straight with the boss the tide keeper so my technique here is just to stay in this rock lure the enemy here so there's a small chance that he won't summon the sea beast so make sure to fight him only here in this area and you won't have any problems so guys you will do your uh, last 25 levels here and yes we're gonna reach level 500 in this area just a reminder guys make sure to finish the coliseum quest let's check our stats max melee defense is 2199 make sure to defeat swan and also free the warriors in the coliseum and after that you can talk to king redhead you need to like fight r.i.p indra damage him until half of its hp and after that you will be teleported back to the cafe you will receive a message blah 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 now you can go to the green zone look for mr captain and he will then send you to the third sea okay guys so that's it for this video i hope that you enjoyed it again to all the viewers subscriber supporters i really appreciate you all this is gamer gnome and gamer gnome out